Hello, this is MacMaster48 for here, yeah? and um, this video is the third episode of um, a series that's recently started called The Tech Dictionary. And now this um, episode is about the internet, as you might have guessed by um, reading the title which you are um, seeing right now. Uh, so anyway, the uh, first thing to talk about is the definition. And um, that's um, one of the most important things about it, to know how it works. So anyway, um, the internet is a global system of computer networks internet interconnected. So basically that means that many um, companies run their own networks, um, research companies run their own networks, um, basically lots of people um, and companies and businesses run their own networks, um, and they all connect them together. Uh, so um, I'll explain that in more detail later. So um, anyway, uh, there are many um, internet protocols that exist, such as VOIP, which is voice over IP, um, used for things like um, Skype, for example. Uh, there is FTP, File Transfer Protocol, and SSH, um, which is used to like, uh, remote control um, many different uh, servers and things, uh, and, um, and many other internet protocols. Um, I think even some things have their own protocols, such as Skype. Uh, so um, Also, every device connected to the internet um, has a, a unique IP, um, address called an IP address. Uh, which um, stands for Internet Protocol, but most people just call it an IP address. I've never heard anyone just say Internet Protocol address, um, but maybe it could be more formal, so anyway. Um, and there are also um, DNS servers. Uh, so um, DNS servers are quite important in the Internet because, for example, when you type in google.com, uh, the, then you connect to a DNS server which tells your computer or your web browser the IP address of the server to connect to you, then you connect to the IP address. Uh, so, um, uh, also, um, internet connections um, are often given by um, ISPs. Uh, so, um, uh, basically, most home connections are connected through an ISP. Um, but, for example, data centers, uh, large companies, etc., don't connect to an ISP. They just connect directly to the internet, to some internet network, um, or just the internet backbone. Uh, anyway, um, if you use an ISP, uh, then you're probably connected to a local exchange. Um, then, a local exchange connects to the ISP network um, and it's best to um, use um, an, a local exchange um, internet exchange that has an LLU and use the ISP that supports the LLU and um, it's just quite a good tip um, you can, um, basically you get quite good internet using an LLU um, so anyway how do we connect to the internet uh, so, um, so this is just basically some steps of what happens uh, so basically a computer has files stored in bytes, you might already know that. Uh, however, um, a computer sends and receives many packets um, with a few bytes stored in each packet um, to a, a router or a modem or whatever. Then it submits it basically through the internet to the destination of um, where you're sending and receiving it um, to or from. So then, um, as I already said, uh, the router or modem sent the packets through a wire, cable, and... Um, Basically, someone receives it, and um, the exchange um, uh, basically uh, sends these through an ISP. Um, so, for example, if you um, downloading or uploading something to a website, then you um, um, uh, sending or receiving packets from a server, or if you're just like talking to someone through instant message, then it's just directly to the other computer. So, so it's um, through your ISP and the other person's ISP. Uh, so, um, how many so many networks connected together? Um, it is quite amazing how many networks connected together that basically a large um, um, percentage of the world um, is just covered by these um, enormous networks. Uh, so, um, the internet is not a large server. Uh, so, um, there is um, a um, you know, TV show called IT Crowd where basically um, someone um, think is basically told that the internet is a box. Um, it's quite funny. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, basically, uh, if what is quite amazing about the internet is if a cable is damaged, uh, it's very unlikely that the whole internet is affected um, if any um, area other than the area where the internet cable is damaged. Uh, so um, only the local area is affected. Uh, also, um, ISPs, companies, schools, universities run their own networks. Um, now, of course, separate homes might not connect to these networks, um, but they used they can be used just for the building, for example, university might have their own network just um, used in the university, uh, and then this connects um, directly to the internet and all the other networks.
and um, uh, um, also the um, uh, network um, basically people that run networks, large networks often agree to connect um, the networks together. Um, however, there can be local networks like um, you, like you can technically start your own internet if you want. However, the um, scale of it will be um, quite a bit smaller. Uh, so um, networks can be run locally, like I just said. Um, someone wants to they could create another internet just for the city, country, uh, or just for one more friend. And um, also, people can create or connect to a network from anywhere in the world. So, for example, one person can um, live somewhere, and another person on the other side of the world can um, also connect to the network. Uh, so basically how this works is that you um, can use a VPN. So basically it connects to um, the internet or to the network through a computer somewhere, um, which um, is likely in another country. Uh, so a uh, free um, example of this is Hamachi. Um, however, most VPNs are not free. Um, and Hamachi is also very slow. Um, VPNs slow down the internet connection a lot. And also most VPNs, um, or paid VPNs, encrypt the data. So can others view my packets um, that are send, receive, uh, now this is um, true it, unless you encrypt it. But I'll explain in more detail right now. So ISPs or network administrators um, uh, can use something called something um, called can be called DPI or deep packet inspection and see everything you do on the internet. So for example, if you torrent something, then your ISP can find out um, what you're torrenting, etc. Um, but of course, um, the amount of people um, uh, downloading things. Um, means that it is quite hard to do this um, currently. However, um, a deep packet inspection could be automated. And what I mean by um, suggesting torrenting, I'm not suggesting that uh, it isn't um, a legal thing, but it can be used for copyrighted content, such as anything on the internet, including YouTube video streaming. So anyway, um, uh, basically, um, even people connect to the same network as you, um, not, of course, through the internet, but people connected to the same routers, you, modem, uh, can see all the packets that you send and receive, unless, of course, uh, unless, of course, um, you encrypt everything. Uh, so packets um, store information such as what protocol it uses, the IP address, etc. Uh, so packets can't really be sent to the wrong person. And in, anyway, that's quite unlikely to happen. Uh, so um, packets can be encrypted, um, as I've said already. Uh, so um, you can use your own encryption methods, I think, but um, why not just use an existing encryption method um, that um, hasn't been cracked before? Uh, so um, many websites now use um, something called HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, um, which encrypts uh, most of your internet usage in that site. So for example, um, internet banking um, uses HTTPS, etc., um, so that people cannot um, just basically be in the same network as you and find out all your passwords and everything. Uh, you can also um, use VPNs to encrypt all your internet usage. Um, however, of course, this doesn't mean you can do whatever you want on the internet and without anyone knowing because um, quite a few VPNs do log the usage and also payment details, etc. are logs also. Um, so also um, free VPNs exist such as Tor. Um, however, they do slow your internet connection down um, quite a noticeable amount. Uh, so, um, so um, what is an IP address? Uh, an IP um, address um, is basically a unique number given to all devices connected to the internet. Um, so um, it doesn't mean that, um, for example, I think about currently about 3 or 4 billion IP addresses are used. It doesn't mean that that many people connect to the internet currently. It just means, like, for example, um, uh, a company can be given like 64 um, IP addresses and that doesn't mean that's 64 people are um, actually using them. Uh, so there are two main IP versions currently at the time of making this video, IPv4 and IPv6. Now IPv4 is quite old, but it is takes um, a while to transition from. So um, t currently it is used for most of the internet in the time of making this video, um, in January 2012, no, February actually. Um, however, um, IPv4 is limited to 4.3 billion IP addresses. So basically this means that, um, uh, basically, this doesn't mean that um, that amount of people connect, connect to the internet, as I've said already, um, but for example, universities can be given a large amount of IP addresses, and I might not even use all of them, um, but other people cannot use them. Uh, so um, uh, it is possible to, um, like currently, um, 
IP, uh, the companies that give um, IP addresses to people are trying to limit the how many IP addresses to give to companies. Uh, so um, many companies, sites, ISPs, etc., are slowly transitioning to IPv6 addresses, um, which has many trillions of possible IP addresses, which sounds like um, that's will be enough for a long time. However, um, they will just be given uh, to so many people, um, so many bl um, large amounts of being so will be given to um, just a small amount of people that uh, that could actually um, um, be used um, quite quickly. Uh, however, trillions is quite unlikely, uh, even if every single person is given about ten or something. Uh, so anyway, blocks of IP addresses given to ISPs, etc. I've said that already. Um, so um, also, um, website or dedicated server hosts um, give um, IP addresses to most servers. Um, however, um, uh, someone might need to pay extra um, for um, a dedicated um, IP address. Uh, so um, also, um, ISPs um, give most people dynamic IP addresses, meaning they change every few days or each time you um, turn off the router for a certain amount of time. Normally, um, for at least five minutes, up to twenty-four hours most of the time. Uh, however, some ISPs do let people have static IP addresses, um, which do not um, ever change, which might be a good idea if um, you don't want to be affected much by the um, IP address shortage. However, this will not solve the problem for other people. Uh, so, um, what is a server? Uh, a server is quite a major part of the internet. Basically, all websites, everything, uh, um, game servers, programs, such as instant messages, etc. Download servers are all hosted on servers, um, as I suggested by saying download servers. Anyway, um, servers store data such as HTML, PHP web pages, um, Flash, um, etc. There's um, just endless lists of what they can store. Uh, and also um, process data using um, PHP um, or MySQL, etc. If um, you have a website that supports um, those things or actually uses those things, um, so for example, PHP lets you have use things like um, login systems, etc. Uh, so um, many servers uh, run in Apache. However, there are alternatives, um, but um, Apache is used by most web servers and is probably one of the most stable web, web servers. Uh, so um, also um, quite a good tip is um, if you want to run a web server um, it's best not to use Windows and also for price reasons Mac uh, it is best to use Linux um, or possibly Ubuntu server um, because it, um, it is most secure and least likely to get a virus because um, hackers um, often attack um, servers and because servers can ho um, have many things in them such as passwords etc a um, lot of valuable information uh, so um, servers can be run from anywhere, um, however they do require a good internet connection, at least 100 megabits um, per second internet connection, and um, most um, hosting that you can actually rent hosting, um, which is somewhere else, with um, a good internet connection, and they normally give you about 1 gigabits per second internet connection if it's good hosting. Uh, so um, it um, requires to be connected to the internet backbone if you want such a fast internet connection. Uh, so it's not a good idea just being connected through Exchange. And also ISPs can take away internet connection um, if they don't like you running a server. So anyway, um, what is a web browser? Now, a web browser is basically uh, where you are likely um, viewing this YouTube video. Um, so um, you might already know a bit about web browsers. Um, however, uh, a web browser is a software application that retrieves and displays files on the internet, such as HTML, PHP files, many other things. Uh, the list is endless again, like I said earlier. Uh, so, um, the des destination of the web page or file you're viewing is um, basically in the URL. So, for example, if you go to google.com, uh, that's a URL. Uh, however, and that's a shortened, normally it's http colon slash slash, that's a protocol. Then it's um, www dot, which stands for World Wide Web, World Wide web um, which web browsers don't let, um, require you to type anymore. Um, then it's um, uh, google.com or something like that. Um, quite a widely used example, Google. I think actually um, Google is more used to test people's internet connection than for searches. Um, I think that's just quite an interesting, interesting fact. So anyway, um, URL can be a domain name or it can be an IP address. Um, they're both the same thing um, except domain names connect to an IP address automatically through a DNS server. Uh, so um, web browsers can also be 
um, you used to view local files um, on your computer or if you have a network. So you can have a network that's um, basically like a home network, company network that's not connected to the internet and you can still host your own um, websites etc and use web browsers. And uh, quite a few web browsers at the moment support extensions to add-ons such as Adobe Flash Player and many other extensions uh, such as Adblock Plus, um, many other ones um, and they um, also the um, main web browsers currently are um, uh, um, Mozilla Firefox, um, Google Chrome, um, Apple, Fire, Apple Safari and um, also Opera and there are a few other web browsers also but those are the main ones and Internet Explorer, um, just for your info, is um, likely the le least secure web browser. So if you're using that, it's best to upgrade, um, upgrade Google Chrome, something like that. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, so basically it's video sending now. So um, uh, you can uh, post some feedback in the comments, um, any suggestions for future ep for future episodes, um, uh, any um, things uh, that you would like to. Uh, comment about such as um, if you like this episode, if you didn't, explain why. Uh, so it helps a lot to improve future episodes of the Tech Dictionary. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at 1337bytes for early um, updates about future episodes, future videos, etc. And also um, I might start a new series soon, for example the Tech Tips, the Tech Vlog, etc. And um, I did used to be a tutorial channel but now I'm not just a tutorial channel and I will, I'm will. i planning to have several extra series including the tech dictionary. Uh, tutorials will still be made and can be requested um, but still be uploaded less frequently. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please rate and comment and please subscribe and uh, please check out other um, episodes of the tech dictionary and also other videos.